Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, give me a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. It means a lot to me. If you have donated to my channel in any way, thank you. I appreciate you, Scorpio. I look at you as one of my blessings. Ooh, that almost came out wrong. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video as well as the link in the bio. I have FaceTime reads. I have video readings. I have twin flame reads. So let's hop directly into this energy. We are seeing what is coming towards you in love. But first we have our affirmation. The best years of my life are still to come. Period. The best years of my life are still to come. The best years of my life are still to come. Yes, they are. Today is the best day of the rest of your life. You don't know what's going to happen today. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know why you went through that breakup, why you've lost that job, what reason the divine has for putting you where you are today for, uh, you know, losing your home or why you are where you are. You have no idea. Something much, much better, much better could be coming for you. If you are feeling like you have lost years of your life, if you're feeling very down or like, you know, you've wasted time, um, this is some good shadow work to do here on the back. You may want to screenshot and really work these. I feel that for some of you, um, you possibly have went through a breakup and you feel as if you've wasted years of your life, that you wasted years on somebody and you can't get that time back. No, you can't, but you've learned so many lessons and you've learned so much about yourself. So no matter how old you are or where you are right now, I promise you, the best years of your life are still yet to come if you allow them to, if you open yourself up to happiness and joy, if you believe that you have much more to come, it will come. I promise you it will. So um, I feel some clarity is coming for y'all. I asked um, the Holy Spirit, what what message does Scorpio need to have right now about their love life? And we pulled clarity, third eye chakra. For some, some of you, you're learning about crystals. You're working with crystals. Some of you are learning how to use your psychic abilities. Others are um, really honing your psychic abilities. You may be um, tarot readers. You possibly are um, have very intense dreams. Um, you're learning how to, to, to harness energy here, I feel. You have attracted this card into your awareness today because clarity is upon you. The ability to experience clarity is connected to your third eye chakra. And more this chakra opens and activates, the more clarity you will receive. It's time to see things clearly, to receive answers that you have been searching for. When our third eye chakra is blocked, it can affect our perception of the situation in our lives. You are being encouraged at this time to cleanse and work on strengthening your third eye so you can work to your full potential. There are some great meditations you can do to activate this third eye and get a crystal to assist this. Amethyst. Place this crystal on your third eye and beneath and breathe in the energy to help activate and awaken your chakra. As your third eye opens, you will receive a lot of clarity on life. You may have asked a question, and this card is telling you that once you work on finding clarity, the answer, answers will come. I experience life with divine clarity, is this affirmation. I experience life with divine clarity. Some of you have clarity coming regarding your love life. Some of you, you're being guided to... Um, open your third eye. You may be going through a third eye chakra med, um, activation. You may be doing meditations or you may want to do a meditation. 
to really open up your third eye so you can see this love situation clearly. If there's answers you've been dying to have, if there's some feeling you have, but you just can't quite um, you know, figure it out, do a third eye chakra activation meditation. There are many that you can find. Um, one of the uh, you know, easiest ones is to visualize right here in your third eye you're an eye an actual eye in between your forehead that's what i do and I, I i'm not telling you this is this is what i do personally i envision white divine light shining into my open eye and i watch the eye open and close and blink why um divine light is coming into my third eye that is the um third eye chakra meditation visualization that i often do um, on a day-to-day -day basis before I start channeling. So it's very easy, an eye opening, closing with a beam of divine light coming into your, your third eye chakra. And you could just simply say that affirmation, um, I receive divine clarity or, or um, I, um, I hear and see clearly now is what I say. So it's very easy to do and um, very beneficial. Spirit is saying there's a warning coming towards you here. Oh boy, don't dismiss the red flags. So somebody is coming towards you here that's going to have um, some red flags. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. You're being guided to accept this person for who they are, accept this situation for what it is. Spirit, what is coming towards Scorpio in love? Who is coming towards Scorpio in love? <clears throat> some distance will help bring clarity. Maybe some of you were very blinded. You could not see properly. You couldn't see um, the answers. You couldn't find clarity because this person was blinding you with love. You were being blinded by love. You were just so confused. They were gaslighting you. They were making you feel very disoriented. Like you, you just didn't know what was real or what wasn't and now that um you all are are apart you're you're beginning to see you're beginning to feel you're beginning to understand some of these situations that happen between you all or um you're starting to hear things in the community about this person and you're like oh my gosh this makes total sense um why they did this on such and such night or such and such day or whatever the case is Passion. Try something you've never done before. It may be time for y'all to, to start um, something you've never done before. Try, try a class. Try a project. Do something new. Children are an important part of this partnership. For some of you, you have children with this person. For others, this person has children to somebody else. I feel that this time apart um, was needed. I feel that you were never going to get anywhere if you kept going round and round with this person. I feel for some of you, you had many rounds with them. Who is coming towards Scorpio in love? What is coming towards Scorpio in love? Oh boy, third party interference. Somebody thinking that the grass was greener. If this person could not see your worth, if this person could not see your value and they felt the grass was greener right here, Honestly, this person here, you you may be being guided to let this person go. They possibly have children with a third party. There was, um, they possibly have a family with this third party, or you want a family with this person. They could also be dealing with family issues like mother, brother, sister, those kind of things. This person's coming in to propose something to you, Scorp. They want to propose. Um, I don't know, uh, getting back together, propose working together, propose um, being a third party, possibly for some of you, unfortunately. What is this warning? Don't dismiss the red flag spirit. What is this? This person is, there's going to be red flags screaming at you and you need to see this clearly. This is why we have clarity, okay? The divine is asking you to see this clearly, uh, Scorpio. It may, it may, it's not what someone says. Energy never lies, right? Um, you will get a feeling. You will um, start, if, when your third eyes open, is somebody is lying to you. You know, 
when people what people lie to me every day and i automatically i i can feel exactly what the real story is i can feel exactly what the truth is so um you know it's not that people won't lie to you anymore it's not that this person won't lie to you it is that you will already know the truth you will feel the truth you will feel if they're telling the truth or not this person could have narcissistic tendencies they want to come in here and charm you they could possibly want to come in here and use you for something baby so be very mindful of this what is this radical acceptance spirit for some of you there's a new person that wants to flirt that wants to reach out that wants to have fun but you have yet to um, let go of this past person for others this past person here wants to come in and flirt with you wants to take you out on a date okay but you're being guided to release um you possibly are being guided to release um the past right not this whole person but things that happened in the past if you want to rebuild your relationship you can't hold on to the things um you know that happened in the past what about time apart? What is this? Why is there time apart? Because you found something out. Something came to light. Or for some of you, if you haven't completely disconnected from your person, unfortunately, something could come to light and, and time will be, you, you will decide to spend some time apart. Um, you're being guided to adapt, change, and heal love. Um, whatever is going on here, this person is wanting to charm you. They want to put, they want to um, put a smoke screen up on whatever's going on here. They could have meant somebody new and they don't want you to know. What is this third party spirit? Why third party? Why are we getting this third party? Yeah, there was a sudden shock, an epiphany, a surprise. This person here is not showing their hand. They're, they're strategically doing something. This could be a third party strategically doing something to come towards you or try to message you about something. Scorpio, here we go again. At least once a week, we have some third party coming towards you, wanting to, to run their mouth or say something. Like uh, these people who cheat with you know your husband or wife or your girlfriend or boyfriend and then have beef with you like you did something wrong like you you know you were the one that got cheated on i just don't understand tell me about this romantic feeling spirit i feel this person wants to come in and tell you that they still have romantic feelings for you they want to bring more stability but you all they are narcissistic they have high narcissistic tendencies. This person could have love bombed you many, many times. They could come on in and do that again. You both do still have romantic feelings for one another. You definitely do. But there's something not quite right about this person. Spirit is saying straight out the deck before I could even ask a question, you need to make healthy choices. You need to make sure that whatever you do here, whatever you choose is healthy for you. Self-care, self-love, self-indulgence. Really open up this third eye before you deal with this person again so you can see clearly, so you can feel and understand what is going on. This person wants to plan a date. They want to set a date. Now, I feel for some of you, this person meant somebody new and left you. Tell me about the grass is greener. They, they meant somebody new. They thought the grass was absolutely, they were seduced or they seduced somebody else. Let's be honest here. They could have seduced another person. They have outdated ways of thinking. They're replaying this event over and over in their head. And there's been third party interference, seduction, hooking up. Now, for some of you, you are the third party. You are the one um, like this person is married or with, with somebody else and you're having an affair. I feel for a lot of you, you didn't mean to fall in love with a person that's married or a person that's involved. It just happened. You didn't want to fall in love with somebody with children and a family, but there was a lot of passion between you all and it just happened. And now you, you are um, sitting here you know, feeling bad about yourself. You're, you're going round and round in your mind. You're trying to release it because this person hasn't left the, the third party yet. And I feel you're feeling very, I feel a lot of guilt here 
So whoever is feeling guilty, love is love and it happens. So don't beat yourself up. It is what it is. There's nothing you can do now. So, you know, just keep moving forward. Tell me, Spirit, what is going on here with this person? What is going on? Oh, boy. Yeah, they want your forgiveness, but they have false beliefs about relationships. They have false beliefs about y'all's relationship. They are possibly abusive. They're possibly physically or emotionally abusive. Please be mindful that if this person has hurt you in any way, make healthy choices. Do not guard yourself. Do not go get back into this. This person is ashamed of their self. They're embarrassed. Whatever they did really, really hurt you. You were not being valued in this connection. I feel they could have leveled up a connection with the third party. They could have actually married the third party or did something with, with, with this karmic. They could have, um, you know, uh, moved in with them. They could have took the relationship to the next level. You may be finding this out for some of you. You may have found, you may find out that this person has leveled up their connection with a third party, but they still want to come in here and love bomb you because there's still romantic feelings. What is this third party energy spirit? What is this? You know, there's trust, trust issues between the two of them. There's um, the trust issues that affects their connection. The conclusion uh, is die, is approaching. The conclusion of, of this third party and your person dying, this relationship is dying. They could have felt felt like this third party was a soulmate, okay? And, and honestly, a chance for new love is on the horizon. This person wants to reconnect with you. They want to reconnect so they can... Um, I don't know, get out of this third party connection. They feel like they always have to be with somebody. This person wants to do the same exact thing um, to them that they did to you. They want to turn around now and leave the third party for you. They want to come back to you. I would do anything to make you want me. I know who you are and what you mean to me. I am ready to be with you now. Union. This person's about to do the very most to get you back, Scorpio. They really are. They're about to do what, whatever they need to do um, or say whatever they need to say to get you to take them back. You are everything I never knew I always wanted. I can't help it even if I wanted to. I'm in love with you. Helpless. This is what I'm saying. For some of you, you meant this person. They were married. They were in a connection. You never meant to be where you are today, but you are, you are here and you're, you're at this point, you're helpless to it. It was a very strong connection and, um, you know, it is what it is, guys. Whatever has happened here, radical acceptance and surrender will help you let go. And that doesn't mean you have to let go of this person, but let go of the mistakes of the past um, and, and stop making you, yourself feel even worse. There's some toxic story going on. There's some toxic thing going on. This person is repeating patterns. They want to come in here and have fun. I feel like they were going out with this third party. They were partying. They were having uh, a, the time of their life. Now they want to come in and court you. There's some um, something they want to tell you about this third party. Something about they possibly have a family with this third party. Really, y'all. I feel they want a new opportunity to come in and make this um, up to you. They, they're going to tell you that at least. They want to be friends. This person could have matured. They could be older than you. You could be older than them. But let me tell you, I feel like they have went through a lot of maturing. I will give them that. Um, whatever has went down here has really affected them greatly. They've, they've matured in many ways. I, I'm just... What is this third party spirit? I'm still trying to figure out if this is the, yeah. For some of you, this is a third party coming towards you. They are on a quest here. Your person could have relocated as of lately, could have moved. And, you, and this third party feels they're coming back to you. And they want to come in here and talk to you. This third party has something to say to you. They're going to do it spontaneously here. There's a 50-50 chance things could go either way. This person, it could go good or it could go bad. I feel for some of you, it's about your person being faithful or not faithful. 
J A could M could mean something to you. J A M. I feel here um, your person wants to re reawaken lost hope, right? There's an uncommon bond between the two of you. You could have had a family with this person and somebody was cheating with them and they left you for a third party. They left you and the kids um, for a third party. And, and now they're coming in to tell you that the grass was not greener. There's some kind of transformation happening. They want some new era here rising from the ashes. This third party I feel is very intense, has leverage on your person, y'all. Like, um, you know, they're keeping them with children. They're keeping them by threatening to tell people something, threatening to tell you something. There's something this that, that this third party energy wants to come in and tell you some, some leverage that they've had on your person. It's kind of really, uh, like stay in your lane, stay over there, leave Scorpio alone, please. Spirit, what will this person do next? Well, I feel this person's having financial problems. They're having trouble manifesting anything in their life. They've been holding back some tangible love offer. They've been holding back on coming in. This person could be a earth sign. They've been holding back here. I feel there is a third party that is extremely bitter, extremely greedy. Your person is very, very regretful has a lot of regret. This third party is very bitter, is very um, mean. There, there's, a, there's a lot going on between them and this other person. It's very intense. There's resistance everywhere your, your person turns. They want to come in and communicate page of wands. They want to communicate with you about whatever has happened here. Um, I, I, tell me about this red flag situation. What is this? What are the red flag spirit? Something's coming to light, definitely. Um, this person is still with the third party. The red flags are going to be, they may tell you, oh no, we're separated, we're not together anymore, um, I'm living somewhere else, or, or whatever they're about to tell you. But Scorp, watch for the red flags and listen to your intuition. Um, honestly, y'all, I, I feel spirit is telling you, do a third eye activation, open up that third eye. So when this person comes back in, you can see clearly, you can see clear with your third eye. This person looks at you as wish fulfillment, but they've been very, very selfish. They do look at you though, like you were everything they ever asked for. They want to come in here and be generous with you. I feel um, the wheel is here. This is a faded event. They do want victory, but they're humiliated. There's something they did here that they just feel completely embarrassed. Like the community knows what this person did. Your community. Say you go to church. Your church knows this person left you for a third party. Your families know. They are very embarrassed of their self. This could be a water sign, a fixed sign, a Leo. Um, tell me what this third party wants. What do, what do they want? What do they want? What are they going to say to Scorpio? Well, they're going to tell you that this person no longer wants to work on their relationship. They're either going to tell you that they don't want to work on this relationship with the third party anymore. Or the third party is going to tell you, you know, I threw that motherfucker out. I don't care about them. Or I threw that bitch out. I don't care about her. You can have her. You can have him. That kind of scenario. There's something about to go down. Something about to pop off. There's lies and some, they're being honest about whatever they lied about. Seven of Swords in reverse, it's coming to light. Um, whatever they lied about about this third party, it's about to come out or they're going to tell you out of their own mouth. This person has been um, persevering. They want to come in here and fight for y'all's relationship. Um, extend some kind of small love offer, page of cups, ask you out for coffee, ask you if you can talk, ask you if you can have a breakfast date, something small, right? Some, some small, can we meet up and talk in a parking lot? I feel for some of you, there was a church parking lot or some parking lot you all used to park at and talk. I just am, and I, I'm getting it. I'm here. I'm getting a hit. There's somewhere you used to go and talk. You would get into each other's car. I feel, um, especially if you were having an affair, this person um, is very domineering at times, but they want to boss up. They are bossing up into the empress or emperor energy. 
right? Taking the lead here, trying to make better choices. Definitely a father figure, definitely children here involved or very childish behavior possibly. They are making, they are no longer making head over heart decisions. This could be an air sign. Um, no longer making head over heart decisions. They're, they're, they're following their heart. This could be a um, Libra or a Taurus as well. Tell me, Spirit, what is going on with this third party? Why do we have this? Yeah, this person's felt trapped in a bad environment with this third party. There's been bad influences, street mentality, possibly um, selling drugs. They're going to tell you that they block communication. Either the third party's coming in to tell you that they blocked your person and they're no longer talking or, um, you know, to lose your person's number to, you know, if something like this about um, blocking some number. They're mentally unstable. This third party here needs to get back on their meds. They're delusional. And I'm telling you, they're, they're going to tell you either your person or the third party is telling you that it's over, that they're cutting the cords, that they're stopping the pattern that, um, you know, it's over. Oh boy. This is, this is going to be eventful for some of you. I'm going to get time frames. Let's get a message quick. Um, the way we left things haunt me. I try to push it away. This person clearly walked out on you for this thought, for this playa, and, um, is now haunted by whatever they did, haunted by it. Tell me, Spirit, what is the time frame? What is the, what is the next thing this person's going to do? What is the next thing this person's going to do and when? Lots of struggles, lots of delays between 21 and, 30, 21 and 31 days, okay? Um, I feel here this could be a Leo or a Capricorn. There's obstacles, there's resistance, there's struggles. This person's coming in to tell you the truth, bringing something to light. There is going to be a positive outcome no matter what. No matter if you get back with this person or you move forward, Scorp, there will be a positive outcome for you. You will have success and you need to know that, feel that. The best years of your life are still to come. Let this person lie over here. The best years of your life are still to come. If, if this person can come back in and do a 360, maybe y'all can make this work. But until you are in a show me energy, no, 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 don't want to hear, show me, right? Show me. I don't care what you have to say. You need to show me is where this needs to be. I wish you the very, very best. I feel for some of you on the 21st of this month, on the 31st of this month or the 21st to the 31st of next month are going to be very important. Surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude. Be to service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will help further your goals. You're being guided to surrender your ego here. Put your ego aside. Do you really want this person back or do you just want to win, baby? Sometimes it's about winning. Sometimes it's about pick me. Why didn't you pick me? That's coming from your ego. You, you, it's your ego saying, pick me, pick me. It's not your higher self. It's not your real self. So put your ego down. Is this person healthy for you? Will they help you build and grow in life? And if the answer is no, then you already know what you need to do. Tell yourself the best years of my life are still to come. They made their bed. They can lay in it, right? Now, your guardian angel message is intuition. Trust your intuition and know that what seems logical may not be right. The answers to your question lies inside your heart. Endless possibilities exist for you. Stop trying to work it all out and feel your way through. We, the angels, will guide you. Trust your feelings and what feels right is right. So. We have clarity, third eye chakra. We have intuition. Your angels are asking you to please feel your way through this, this scenario. Would it be easier to get back with this person? Probably. Is it what's best for you? Probably not. But you have to feel, feel your answers. If you feel 
that yes, this is going to be healthy. Yes, we can make this work. Yes, we can let the past and behind behind us. Then by all means, Scorpio. But ask your angels. Ask, pray. The divine will 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 give you um, your answer many in many different forms. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. Tell yourself every day, in every way, I get better in better. I am a winner. I am a winner. No matter if this person chooses 10 other people, you need to choose you, Scorpio. I am a winner, damn it. All I do is win. Love and light.